homework time. Yes, happy homework time is here just for you. Let's jump right in. Write our name down top paper. Start off in the right way. I'll write my name. You write yours. Let's go ahead and write today's date. All right, today you write the actual date. How's that? Great. Write off here. Determine the following sums and differences. Show your work. Okay, so we can't just write a number in here. We need to you know, show the path we followed to get there. So two yards, two feet, plus one feet. So we see here we have uh, we have these pairs that they've been doing. So we have addition, subtraction, similar examples, a connection between them, addition, subtraction. And you see we're dealing all with yards and feet in these first four. So two yards, two feet, plus one foot. Well, that would be two yards still, right? Two feet plus one foot is three feet. Okay. Oh, and what do you notice? That these three feet, that this is one yard, is it not? And so when we put together two yards and one yard, we get, that's right, three yards. Great, we showed our work. So now two yards minus one foot. Okay, so to do this, a couple of ways we could go about it. We could say, all right, hey, one of these yards I'm just going to set aside and leave as is, just like we did with subtracting mixed numbers, same thing. Um, and now the other yards so that we can subtract feet from it, we're going to say, hey, that other yard, that's three feet. Because now we can subtract the one foot. And that will leave us with the one yard. And three feet minus one foot is two feet. Excellent. All right, now we have two feet plus two feet. Well, that's four feet, right? Ah, but we're being asked for yards and feet. So of those four feet, three of them will make a yard. And that leaves one other one. Okay, so this, this here... I'm out of room there, so I can't do it underneath. That's one yard, right? So one yard and one foot. Now here again, five yards minus one foot. Very similar to the one up here. By the way, this should be letter C. Very rare Eureka error, but that should be letter C. Um, so five of those yards, uh, five yards there, four of them will leave as they are because we just need to subtract one foot. So that fifth yard we will decompose this three feet because now we can subtract one foot. That will leave us with four yards and then three feet minus one foot is two. And that's just like the one above, isn't it? Whew, cruising through. We have a little more on number one to do. Might get trickier, who knows, let's see. All right, in E, F, G, H here, we see now we're looking at inches and feet. And we have addition, addition, subtraction, subtraction. All right, so let's jump right in. Seven inches plus five inches. Well, seven and five make sorry, 12. And we know that 12 inches, yes, indeed you do, equals one foot. So our answer is one foot. <laughs> Never mind. All right, seven inches plus seven inches. Seven and seven make 14 inches and then when we look at this you say oh, okay well 12 of those inches will be one foot and that leaves another two inches and look golly gee that's how we can write our answer it's one foot two inches following good now we have two to do that or subtraction one foot minus two inches well we can think of the one foot as 12 inches right and now we can easily subtract two inches what do we get right 10 inches and similar one here but instead we have two feet we're subtracting six inches one of those feet we will just leave that foot alone leave that foot alone stop picking at it and the other one we will make 12 inches we'll decompose it that way now we can subtract six, six inches so one foot one foot 12 inches minus six inches leaves six inches Great, look, we powerballed our way through number one, whatever that means, let's go on to number two. Oh, well, so much for moving quickly through this. These eight, we know, we've seen this before. This is where we have to slow down, take some time. We're just following, find the following sums and differences, showing our work. But we know there are gonna be some conversions to do along the way here. So let's be patient, do this right, and actually understand what we're doing. So this first one, four yards, two feet, plus two feet. Well, an in-between step there would be to say, okay, well, it's four yards, two feet, and two feet are four feet. 
And as we just saw, we know that from four feet, we did one just like this. Hey, that's going to be a yard, three of those feet, to be specific, will give me one yard. And that leaves that fourth foot, one other foot. So we end up with, well, we had four yards. Here, I'll circle four yards, and then this one yard, and then one foot. So a total of five yards, one foot. Great. A similar one here, addition again. Notice we have two addition, two subtraction, two addition, two subtraction. Keep that in mind. So six yards, two feet, plus one yard, one foot. Well, six yards and one yard makes seven yards. Two feet and one foot makes three feet. And we know that three feet here is equal to one yard. So we have seven yards and one yard together makes eight yards. And now this is a little confubulating here. How many feet? Well, it's zero. Um, so they probably shouldn't even put that there, but there it is. So we'll deal with it. Um, and again here, uh, we have five yards, one foot, but now we're subtracting two feet. So with the five yards, we'll leave four of those alone. And again, this is exactly what we did with uh, subtracting mixed numbers. One of those yards, though, will decompose as three feet, combined with the one foot already present, is four feet. All right. And I could write that out as more steps, but I don't think we need to. And now we are subtracting two feet from that, so that would leave us with the four yards. Four feet minus two feet, two feet. Great. Now this one is going to be very similar. You notice so again we're subtracting something with two feet here, but now they've thrown in the numbers a little different, but not really because it's one foot minus two feet. Um, but now we have these five yards here, so let's look at this one. Um, so again, we, the reason we have to decompose here is because we can't do one foot minus two feet. If it was the other way around, we could just subtract and be done. But oh no, life is not that easy, my friend. So six of those yards we will leave alone. The other one will decompose, and here I'll break it down into steps, as three feet. And then we have this one foot here, okay? So that's six yards, four feet. Now, that's a T, really. Now we can subtract the five yards, two feet. Six yards minus five yards leaves one yard. Four feet minus two feet leaves two feet. Okay, see how this works? Now we have two addition examples to do that I bet are gonna have some things in common. So seven feet, eight inches plus five inches. Well, as an in-between step, let's just add. So that'll be seven feet, eight inches plus five inches. A and five make 13, so 13 inches. And we see right there, oh, we know that 12 inches is what? Is one foot, which leaves that other one inch here. So we have this foot with these seven feet for a total of eight feet, and then we have that one inch left over there. Very nice, let's look at F. Six feet, five inches plus five feet, nine inches. Let's just crunch these numbers and then sort, of, sort out the bodies afterwards. Six feet plus five feet, 11 feet. Five inches plus nine inches, 14 inches. Okay, ah, and we see right away, see, like I said, very similar to that last one. Um, so from those 14 inches, we say, hey, we know that 12 of those inches makes one foot leaving two more inches, right? The 12 and two make 14. So we have 11 feet and we have this other foot made up of inches here. So 11 and one are total 12 feet and then two more inches there. Now these last two here are subtractions. So we're starting off with 32 feet, three inches minus seven inches. Well, we can't do three minus seven. So let's go to those 32 feet, 31 of those feet Let's just set aside and leave alone. But one of them we're going to decompose as 12 inches. And again, I'll do the in-between step here so you can see it, although I have to write painfully small because um, we have those three inches as well. So it's 31 feet. 12 inches and three inches is 15 inches. So all we did was decompose this so we can actually do the subtraction. Now we can subtract those seven inches. 
31 feet will remain as is and 15 inches minus 7 inches. 15 minus 7? That's right, 8. Leaves 8 inches. And I bet this one's going to be pretty similar. 8 feet 2 inches minus 3 feet 11 inches. Again, the whole reason we need to do any decomposition here, we'd just be able to subtract if it were the other way around. But we're trying to do 2 inches minus 11 inches, and I, there's the rub. You know, that's our sticking point. We need to do something. So of those 8 feet, 7 of them, let's just leave alone. And one of them will decompose as 12 inches to be combined with the 2 inches already present. So that will be 7 feet 14 inches. And now what are we subtracting? Well, we're subtracting 3 feet 11 inches. So 7 feet minus 3 feet leaves, right, 4 feet. 14 inches minus 3 inches, oh, sorry, <laughs> 14 inches minus 11 inches, what I meant to say, leaves 3 inches. That's the answer, yeah. Okay, hey, that wasn't so bad. All right, well, let's go look at number 3 then. Well... Darling Lori, like many other denizens of Eureka Land, is busy buying craft supplies. And she bought 9 feet 5 inches of blue ribbon. She also bought 6 feet 4 inches of green ribbon. How much ribbon did she buy altogether? Well, come on, let's just make a simple little tape here. Down a little. I always make them too high. Um, so what we have is we have, we have, ooh, what's up with that line? We have 9 feet, 5 inches, and this is blue. And then of the green, we have 6 feet, 4 inches. And what we're trying to find is how much she has all together, right? We'll call that R for ribbon, of course. So we just need to simply add, and I, you can actually, I'll show you, you can actually, we haven't done much of this, but you can do this kind of uh, addition because we have feet and inches here. We don't have to do any initial conversions. We can do this uh, vertically, just the same as we do other additions. So 9 feet 5 inches plus 6 feet 4 inches. All right. We do it just like that. Look at that. 9 feet and 6 feet, and I could actually really start on either end here. Uh, is 15 feet, okay. 5 inches plus 4 inches is 9 inches. Blink, blink, blink. Wait, did I do something wrong? Or did they give us one that's actually kind of straightforward? <laughs> really, that's it. She has, or she bought. <whistles> 15 feet 9 inches of ribbon. That's it. We didn't have any conversions to do at the end there. Aren't you shocked? Wow, I am. All right, so the length of the room is 11 feet 6 inches. The width of the room is 2 feet 9 inches shorter than the length. What is that there, width? All right, well, so here with, with this, we would draw two separate tapes because we're doing a comparison. So we're going to have length, and then we know that the width is shorter. So I'll just draw a little shorter. How much shorter? Well, I don't know. I know about yay mount because we don't we haven't done the math yet. So this is the length, and this is the width. So this length is 11 feet six inches, and we don't know this, right? This is our W. This is our unknown. But what we do know is the difference between them. Ooh, this should go all the way to that. That's better, I think. Um, so it's 2 feet 9 inches shorter. So we can see to find, yeah, we have a, a, a known total. We have a known part. We want to find the unknown part. We are looking at subtraction. And you know what? We can also set this up the same way. 11 feet 6 inches minus 2 feet 9 inches. And we then it helps you actually to see that Oh, we have a little sticking point here with the subtraction. We can't do 6 minus 9. And guess what? We can do this just like regrouping. Those 11 feet, I'm going to leave 10 of them alone. And yeah, this looks just like subtraction, doesn't it? And then decompose the other one as 12 inches added to the 6 inches there gives me 8 
18 inches. And now I can subtract. 18 inches minus 9 inches leaves 9 inches. 10 feet minus 2 feet leaves 8 feet. And believe it or not, that is the width of the room. The room is 8 feet 9 inches wide. It's not double wide. All right. Oh, I think there's one more. Let's do it. Okay, number five, finishing that homework time here. I, I'm going to tell you, even before we start it, that I have a problem with this problem, uh, which will come to light soon enough. Uh, Tim's bedroom is 12 feet 6 inches wide. Okay, the perimeter, and that's all the way around. Remember, like you're walking around the outside. The perimeter of the rectangular-shaped bedroom is 50 feet. So what's the length? We're given the width. Okay, so we have to figure out the length. And how much longer is the length than the width? Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and draw the room. And I'm going to draw it like this because it does say that it's rectangular shaped, although we will discover something. And I'm going to call this the width. We're told that it is 12 feet 6 inches. Now, if this side is 12 feet 6 inches and it's a rectangle, by definition, the opposite side is equal. So this is also 12 feet 6 inches. And now this is the length and this is the length. So if we put together the two measurements, the two widths, and subtract that from the total perimeter, that would, and then cut it in half, that would tell us what the length is. You know, so let's do that. All right, so 12 feet 6 inches plus 12 feet 6 inches. All right, that would give us, well, 6 inches and 6 inches is 12 inches. 12 feet and 12 feet is 24 feet. Oh, and we see that this equals 1 foot. So altogether, this is 24 feet and 1 foot, which is then 25 feet. All right, now if we take the perimeter all the way around, all four sides, and subtract... 50 feet, we subtract the 25 feet of the width dimensions there. And there are other ways we could have done this, but I think this is clearest. That gives us 25 feet for the lengths. What does that tell you right there? I mean, we'll do the rest of the math, but that tells you that the width and the length are equal. So although, yes, technically, a square also fits the definition of a rectangle. We're told the, pr the room is rectangularly shaped. And, okay, technically that's true, but this is a little strange and weird because it's, it's actually a square room. Um, okay. Okay, Tim. Um, now, the 25 feet, that's the length plus length, right? So we know that length plus length is 25 feet. So to find one of those lengths, we would have to cut the 25 feet in half. But, and, and we could do the math on that, but we already know what it is because these added up to 25, so these are half. So the length is 12 feet 6 inches, just like the width. Exclamation point. That's a horrible exclamation point. That's a better one. Okay, so how much longer? Now, this is why I dislike this question. How much longer is the length than the width? Uh, the length and width are equal. So it's not longer. That's why this is just kind of a weird example. You'd think they would have made it so that, I mean, they could have said the perimeter is 60 feet. That would have given us something different to work with. The length and width are equal. It's not longer. There we go. Well, we are kind of awkward finish to tonight's homework time, but I hope you loved every second of it as much as I did. So I will see you again next time. It is once again homework time.